in the night like a diamond in your heart. What's up? What's good? Welcome to the live. We are the arts. If you haven't already, go and hit that subscribe button, smack down that notification bell. That way you're updated the next time the Eric's post a new video. Today, 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 it is Friday. It is the 12th of April and it is Friday, baby. Anybody got plans this weekend? Hit it up in the chat. Let me know what y'all doing this weekend. It will be 87 degrees. We hit 90 degrees yesterday, and it was hotter than an MF, man. It was hot yesterday, and I am not ready for that triple digits, you guys. And I know that triple digits is coming. I am not ready for that she's. How y'all doing? What's going on? Happy Friday, everybody. Wake up. Wake up. Let's see who's here. Miss Michelle came in here first. Hey, baby, what's good, mama? What's up to races be gone? We got double star diva, Miss T. Lou in the building. We got double star diva again. BB is in the house. Hey, baby, good morning. Miss KP is in the building. Aviana, uh, Jack Lease is in the house. We got Feisty Queen in the building. We got Linda, Linda, Linda. 63 in dirty jersey shout out to new jersey baby we got myra in the house miss kb said i'm ready for the summer my favorite season that's what's up baby jessica's in the house we got joel in the house what's up baby yes i feel better today i feel a lot better let me tell y'all covid sucks it sucks the way i was feeling i couldn't breathe oh man it was horrible, and I'm glad it's out of me. I'm glad I'm, I don't have to feel that no more because, shit, it was, it was horrible. Hey, Sun Rose. Hey, baby. We went to the casino yesterday because, you know, on Thursdays, I get a free – well, it says free gift, but actually it's not free because I had to play to get that shit. I had to put in some money in order to get – to qualify to get these things, right? So I went and got the, – they're giving away pans, and these pans have gold plate in the middle of them. They're cute, but they're tiny. They're small. But, hey, they're cute. They're new pants and they're non-stick. I mean, they're, I'll take it. And today they're going to give out another free gift. I don't know what they're giving out, but I want to go. And every time I get to go get my free gift, I get $25 free play. So you know why they do that, right? Because they want you to spend money. Because they know once you get that $20, $20 free play, you're about to throw in some more money. So that's what I did yesterday. I threw in some more money. Yeah, I had $25 free play. And after I, I used up my $25, I won $10 out of it. I threw in another $25. And I was playing and I, and then I, I won my $25 back. So I go, nah, let's just go. At least I got to play. And I got to get some points. So anyways, I ended up winning my money back. So we just left. I was like, nah. 
I didn't lose no money today or the nine. Well, I won nine dollars, y'all. I won nine dollars. But yeah, I don't I don't gamble like where I'm gonna lose my money. Like I'll play win my money back and then I'll leave. Cause I just want the points, y'all. That's all. Cause then you get free rooms, free tickets to concert, concerts, gifts, or whatnot. But yeah, that was my day yesterday, y'all. But I felt better. I felt a lot better. So whew, if anyone is getting sick, I'm gonna pray for you because it, it sucked. It sucked. I do not want to feel like that again. All right, let's get into these drags, y'all. Hey, everybody coming in. Hey, Nelly, baby. Hey, Shelby. Hey, your pleasure. Hey, y'all. I don't have any birthdays today, so if anyone has a birthday, let me know. Let's get into my drags. Okay, so at 3212, he claimed to be on... Now, she's talking about Jasmundo, but she calls him... She calls her he, y'all. Because I at first I'm like he. And I was like laughing because I'm like, you're calling Jasmine to a he. <laughs> that was funny. So she put, he claimed to be on his monthly cycle. However, he showed a pack of birth control pills and he clearly is on the fifth day of taking them. His cycle would be that week of the pills. Wait, his cycle would be that last week of the pills. Why does he lie? And you know what? That's true. You said you're on your period, but yeah, you're taking a pack of birth controls and that's like only four of them gone. Like, girl, that makes no fucking sense. That doesn't make any sense. You're right. Oh, happy birthday to your sister, baby. Happy birthday to your sister. Awesome. You know what? Everyone kept hitting me up about Jasmine crying about Chris. And I'm like, babe, I haven't watched the video yet. I don't, I was lost. I was like, I don't know what y'all talking about. Cause I hadn't watched it yet. I wanted to watch it with you guys fresh, but everyone said she was crying for Chris again. I'm like, what? But yeah, you said he's still around. So you know what? If she did cry for Chris, then he must have called her. He must have called or FaceTimed her because for her to be in her feelings like this, I doubt she saw him in person. He had, you know what this fool is? You know what he's doing? He's fucking smart, y'all. You know what he's doing? He's keeping tabs with her. He's he's giving her a little a little like call, just so she won't put his ass on child support. And she's not gonna put him on child support. He's he knows what he's doing, y'all. He knows exactly what he. And then she's gonna keep getting her fucking feelings because she allows him to do that shit to her. Hey, Vanna, Vanna. Hey, Pamela. I see, you, baby. Shaking that ass. She's picking up Aiden because she's taking, she's been taking his medication instead of him. And now he's acting out. I really can't stand when she says she's editing a vlog for you guys. If you don't post, you don't eat. So it's definitely for you. We just hear facts. Why you got to say, oh, you guys, I promise we're going to edit. You need to edit. You need to edit. Because you got to make your money. You posting a video helps me make my money. It sure does. But if if you don't edit a video, I'll just go to the old school. We go to the old school videos. <laughs> so you really got to edit for yourself. So yeah, Southside's right. Eric, no, I need to watch Neo. I need to. I need to go catch up with her. You know what? I'm going to do that today. I'm going to binge her today. Shout out to Neo. The birth control part was weird, LOL. Girl, the way she cried about Chris today, it's sad. She just doesn't understand. He never loved her. He is a user. Ooh-wee. Like, did she cry tears? Like, cry, cry tears? Or was it just a complaint? Ooh-wee. We're going to have to go over there and look. Oh, man. I swear now she's crying. She's broke with no food stamps, and she's depressed about hips again. Tax money's definitely gone, and I said it would be around this time when the twins be day. And you sure did. I don't give a fuck. You said around this time, and remember, we made a tally, and I, I still have it written down. Now, it was for her to stop doing gym, but it basically, it's about her breaking down like this, too. And I, I think I said the... I think I said the... What day did I say? I think I said the 14th. Where is my shit at? 
Oh God, I wrote four eight twenty four. Jazz took a bath. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't erase it. That's stupid. I don't know where I wrote it down, you guys. I don't know. Hmm. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. I said March twelfth. That was last month. April first. Queen said April first. K said April first. Lisa said April fourth. Miss KP said April eighth. I don't give a fuck. Said around April fifteenth. You see, she, yeah, I have it written down right here. Hmm. So I don't give a fuck. Is the closest? She was the closest. You were the closest, babe. Ooh wee. We gotta come up with something for you for a prize. At this point, Jazz is going to become a dietitian with all the advice she is giving. Jazz Mundo is skinny, y'all. She's skinny mini, and she's getting it in, y'all. She is so predictable. Yes, man, I probably offered money too. I was I was told that they think she's still giving him money. Now, would she give him money if he asked her for a couple of dollars? I think she would. Most definitely, I think she would. Because during the whole relationship of them being together, she was the one that was the provider. Chris was not. He did not provide. And if he did have to help from time to time because she wasn't really vlogging that much, and she had said before, when I don't put out a lot of videos, then I have to use most of his money, and he doesn't like that. He doesn't like that. He, I, I'm pretty sure she got to pay him back. Yep, she sure will give him money. Yep. I want Jazzy Poop as my personal trainer. <laughs> Jasmundo, can you train us to, to look buff like you? I want to. I want my knees to sweat, baby. I want my legs to sweat. He didn't even want her money. That's why he left. I feel that Chris, Chris was there to use up whatever he needed to use up because he needed a place to stay, obviously, because who moves in that fast? Who moves in that fast? As soon as she said he'd be here after a week because he was he had some other shit going on, he came and she was filming, and I know she purposely showed his hat rack. You see a hat rack, you see a chair, and you see his game right there. And she, when you want, she wants people to see, she will show it. She showed his hat rack. She showed all that stuff that was Chris's that he brought. And then remember, she kept saying he had a storage room with all kinds of shit in there that he was going to bring for her house. But we'd never seen what he brought. We never saw it. Never. So, I mean, shit. We Actually, at the end of my, my after I react to all my videos, we're going to go back to six months when he actually really left she did a live and we're gonna look at that too all right y'all let's get into these videos so that was my those are my drags if you want to be the drag of the day just comment down below your thoughts and your opinions baby that's all you gotta do All right. We're going to go down the line. I'm just we're not going to be long here, y'all. I just want to see what she's talking about. She said she got banned from TikTok. Now, my question to her is you said you got this house. And the house was it was it was it was in a nasty looking house. It was a nice house in my opinion. I thought it was an upgrade for her. It was a cute house four bedrooms, but she's still in the car doing her hair, talking, her daughter's sitting right next to her, and then she's yelling at the kids, clean the house, and it's like, so they're still at wherever they're at. They're still at the same place, so she probably is waiting to see if she can get approved for this house. Maybe she's not approved yet. What do y'all think? 
let me know your thoughts and opinions. Do you think she's already approved and about to move in, start moving stuff in? I will not, like, I'm with, it's Lala. Shout out to my sis, Lala, because she said, I'm not going to believe it till I see her moving stuff in there. And I'm with you, too. I'm not going to believe it till I see her moving stuff in the place. She's moved in, you know, because when she was filming the house, even Naya was like, uh, how, whose room is that? Whose room is this? Like, she was like, what? I don't know, y'all, but she said she got kicked off of TikTok. I got off TikTok, two reasons. So I reported the video, then somebody on the video. The reason why I did turn it off is because they're saying abuse. That's what they had on there. They're not about to get my TikTok banned because no days no, no lies. Um, they say it was abuse going on on, on the camera. I guess because I take an IQ her hair and y'all feel like she's being abused. They ain't no I'm gonna go over here and get side um ready, get her dressed. I'll see y'all later. I'll be back with another YouTube video probably later on this afternoon. Hopefully, I'm trying to get this channel right here jumping so I can start posting more videos on this channel. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, y'all. <laughs> Turn on your notification because you can post the video. Ah. So she said that I guess she was on TikTok and someone reported her channel and she's like got in trouble or some shit. I don't know. I don't know the I, I know TikTok is kind of strict because I was live and I was at the casino and then they terminated my live and said I couldn't post for three days. I'm like, or go live for three days. I was like, what did I do? They're like, you're not supposed to show gambling stuff. And I was like, oh shit, I didn't even read the rules. I was like, my bad. So I was suspended for like three days. I couldn't post live. And I had just been able to go live on there. I was all excited. And they kicked my ass off of live. I was like, man. So they are kind of strict, I guess. Where's the keys? Yeah, I don't know what's going on with, with her. I don't know if she really got that place. I mean, for the kids' sake, I hope they did get that place. Because it's enough room for the kids. I know races be gone. Shoot, man, I'd be in trouble. Those birth control pills was letting Phil and Chris to come a girl. And you know what? You're right. You're right. Because she does do that. She told Chris that she was on birth control and then ended up getting pregnant within three months of them being together. Actually, two months being together. She got pregnant so fast being with Chris and Chris let it be known several times he did not want to have a child with her he did not want to get he did not want to get her pregnant until five years later and they get married that was his plan he said with her but you know Jasmine though she she's gonna rush whatever she want to rush she's gonna rush it up baby she's gonna get what she wants all right, let's go over to Jasmine. Speaking of Jasmine, let's go over to Jasmine. Hmm. Is it that one or this one? Yes, this one. What you say? I hope, I hope it too for the American. Nika is a damn mess. I hope it. I hope she gets it. And Naya is strict. Like she's like, no, we got to keep this house clean. We got to make sure it's clean. I hope that she does because I think she would be the one to keep the house in order. But she goes to work, so she's not gonna be there all the time. And and Nika's gonna be gone all day because she'll be driving around, going to the dollar store, going to the Little Caesars doing whatever she does. She's always gone in the car and then the kids are left at the house by themselves. And that's why the house gets all messed up because no one's watching them and they just terrorize, you know? I mean, any child would terrorize. If I left my kids alone, they've terrorized my house. Her daughter doesn't need to tell her mom anything. I know, but it's like, it, to me, sometimes it feels like she's the mom and, and she's the daughter type of shit, you know what I mean? Like the roles are reversed, kind of. And I feel that she cooks better than her mom. She cooks with more love than her mom does, I feel. Either that or she'll play the A-B storyline again. Ooh-wee. I just want to know why she had to show birth control on her video. Like, there was no point in that. I mean, that was silly. Nah, it's just like her mama. Ooh, we 
Did her son get a job? I wonder if her older son's going to be there too. I'm pretty sure he is. So she did a video. Is this the video right here? Day in the life of a fitness mom of five. <laughs> Not a fitness mom of five. Jasmine's a fitness mom, y'all. Ooh, -wee. let's get into this. And yesterday, anyone that's a content creator, y'all, if you react to yesterday's video, watch out with the Rihanna song. Cause I did not notice that that I I don't know why I didn't notice the Rihanna song. Cause I they're like, you cannot monetize because of the Rihanna song. So I had to private my video. And I had to mute that part out in order to get my shit monetized. And I was like, I don't even know if my comments show now on my, on my shit. Like, you know, when you play your live in the comment show, because I had to do that. The apartment probably is in Naya's name. Oh, I know. And she says she has to get the carpet cleaned. She's only been there for like, what? How long has she been there? Let's see what Jack's gonna do. Oh Lord, that song. What the hell is that? Everybody. Hey guys. What? So I'm telling everybody. Is she everybody? Hey, is she barefooted at the? Is she barefooted on the court? Please tell me. Please tell me. Man, I was playing that stupid song. That song got me in trouble too. See, I like these little pajamas that she's wearing. See these ones? I think it's cute. I think that color is cute for her. So it's called, I'm not okay. Co-parenting after a breakup isn't easy for me. Jasmine, you guys have been broken up since February, 2023. Guys, welcome back to another vlog. Good morning. I hope you guys are having a good day. Oh, oh guys, Lord. I hope you guys real productively, okay? So I just don't know what it is, y'all. I really am not a morning person. I really didn't want to get up this morning, um, but I got up. And here we are. Let's get the day started. And here come Legend. You want, you want some milk? And cereal? Come on. I need to get him situated, you guys, so that I can get the older kid situated. It's so much easier when he's just situated and done. That way I can also get my stuff together because... He's trying to get this. Have another one, Jasmine. Have another one. If you are lonely, if you are lonely, ain't nobody love me. You don't even know me. That's when you think you love me. Have you ate in the top of the week How to look. For his birthday, at least for his birthday, give him a nice pop. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. You're not going 
gonna do that to me again. No, you're not. not. No, you're not gonna play that song again to get me in trouble, girl. Mm -mm. This is the song y'all was telling you about. That song right there. Oh Lord, it looks like the apocalypse. Oh, oh my God, Jasmine's house is the apocalypse. Y'all know what I mean when I say the apocalypse? Girl, get cut that grass. Oh, my lordy. Now, I ain't going to talk shit because my backyard, I have weeds in my backyard. I'm, I've been little by little cutting them out because I got a big ass backyard, y'all. Yes, I played my disclaimer. Thank you, baby. But that song got me a copyright yesterday. I ain't going to talk shit, but Jasmine, little by little goes a long way. Little by little, do little by little daily, and it'll go a long way, girlfriend. What happened? I thought you're talking to the lawn man. Ooh, we looks like we're watching The Walking Dead right here. I thought I was gonna see Daryl pop out. <laughs> I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, she's playing that stupid song. Well, it's not a stupid song, but she's the worst morning, you know. Oh, um, hold up. Oh, so Chris, Chris must have called her that day. Y'all, I'm having the worst morning, you know. When you thought about picking up the camera and I Jasmine needs a friend, y'all. She really needs someone to talk to, to vent to. Um, I'm at the gym. I'm trying to finish this. I have to spill some on me. But do you love the Walking Dead? I think I'm gonna start doing Walking Dead. Come I be feeling like I'm completely healed sometimes, but I'm really and truly not. Oh no, daddy! It's like I'm trying to daddy. trick my mind wait her tongue and see. um and feeling that complete healing because i don't want to feel everything else Dude, I, her tongue is white why is it like that do you have a tongue scraper i love to scrape my tongue i got a tongue scraper i got two of them girl you need to scrape that tongue why would her her why would her her tongue be so white like that? What does she drink? Maybe all those energy drinks. Not thrush. Oh. Can I zoom in? Let me see. <laughs> Y'all <Yeah>, crazy. <laughs> maybe, maybe she drank a Powerade or something. I don't know. Or energy drink. Yeast and sugar. This oh, she does get the scoops and then she sticks it in her mouth. She don't even add water. You know how how concentrated that is because you just got to put a scoop into a whole bunch of water and then you shake it up. She grabs it and just sticks it in her mouth and just drinks it. Like she copied that from other channels because I saw another channel do the same thing too. The other channel they they do the same thing. They just stick it in their mouth. Ooh wee. Okay. Hi. Hold back so much a hi. for myself so that I don't get so in my feelings. And I get in my feelings bad, you know? Um oh, babe, I didn't know that. No, no. This whole situation is just so fucked up. Like I don't even like talking about it. It's like whenever y'all ask me certain things, like how is co-parenting? I feel like it's complicated. Like not even just co-parenting, just everything. And it's complicated because what co-parenting do you have with Chris? Chris don't even know how to parent. He's never been a parent to any of his kids. I bet you even when he picks up the twins, he like Lacanian got to direct him and shit, like what to do and give him the money to pay and shit. I'm pretty sure. 
what co-parenting do you have? And you and you could tell that this is the only time he has called her. He must have, I don't even think he FaceTimed her. I think he just called her a regular call. Hey. We'll see. I don't huh? know. Hey, Bobby. Get it. Because a part of Bobby. me, you know, I'm in that position where you know. it still hurts me, like, certain conversations I'm not completely healed to where I can be it can just be about legend does that make sense like whenever it comes to his that I'm not completely healed I'm so broken still broken and um a part broken how can a dude like Chris break anybody unless he sit on you? How is he going to break you? He wasn't providing for you. He wasn't loving on you. He wasn't doing stuff with you or doing stuff for you. How can he break you? I'm broken. I love him more than I love myself. I'm broken. Chris wasn't hardly ever there for you like that. Like, I, I I couldn't I couldn't fall in love with a dude like Chris, and I know dudes like Chris. I know a lot of dudes like Chris. I, I know a lot of guys like Chris. Shit, and I wouldn't. Mm -mm. How can you let a dude like that break you, girl? You sound silly to me. To me, sometimes make it about me. You know, even whenever it's like, okay, Jasmine, you got to be strong. Let it be just about legend, but I'll make it about myself. And I just be like, man, I just hate you. I hate you with a passion. You know, like I don't want to even see you until I feel like I am complete because I hate you. I, I just, I hate him so fucking much, bro. You know, I, I really and truly hate him. So let me come on here and reiterate. Oh what I mean. Lord! I I Why him. did she do that? I hate him. Oh yes, let me go back and tell you why I said that. Uh, Girl, you said you said what the fuck you said. Go, you can't go back and try to soften it up because Chris, Chris isn't even watching you to begin with. So I, I really and truly hate him. So let me come on here and reiterate what I meant by hate. I think it's more so I hate what I went through or what I'm currently going through, what I'm feeling. And it's not so much hate him. It's just I hate this situation because I never thought I'd be able to yes! Now that I'm kind of clear headed, I can kind of just tell y'all really like what i meant but um i just never thought i'd be hey man just want to let you know that sometimes you gotta shut the fuck up you gotta shut the fuck up in this current time and honestly this is one of those days um i've been kind of doing good with it lately but you know today was just one of those days that i just i got really deep into my feelings and i was just like why like you know you know how you just sit back and you just think about everything and it's like why like why would why why leave your family? I, it's just so much, and it's so much build up that I just have to deal with on the inside and deal with it, you know, for myself at this point because I feel like we would not have a conclusion when it comes to this situation, and I'm just gonna have to heal. Like whether I get a explanation or not, I just gotta heal. I gotta do this for me because. Me feeling like this, it's just, it brings me down. I'm editing the video, and right now, I just feel so much oh, hurt. God. <laughs> just hey, hey. I, um, hey, hey. I don't know. I'm just sitting here thinking, like, like this morning is just bad. Like I said, and I don't want to go into why, you know, of course, why but... I, uh, you, I, you, you got to doing that shit, Jasmundo. You come on here talking shit, and then you say, well, I can't say why, but this is how I feel. Like, about Hannah, you're like, oh, there's a, there's more to it, but I can't say it. Well, then don't say it at all, because we don't know the whole fucking story. So leave it to yourself. Don't, don't, 
keep and then you get mad when people guess you get mad when we're over here guessing what the fuck it is you get mad but you don't explain shit you're just coming out here crying and you're like oh there's a lot of stuff that's going on but i can't say it that's just annoying so it's that time of the month but at the same time you know you have to really be honest with yourself like are you completely healed no i'm not I feel oh, thank you, baby. so much. And, you know, although I uh, take accountability for certain things when it comes to our, that came to our relationship, but it breaks my fucking soul when someone doesn't take accountability for when they You fuck can't up. break my soul. Remember, you going to break my soul. I'm telling everybody. <laughs> I'm just saying, y'all <laughs> And they sit here and make it seem like you were always the problem when all you did was provide, you loved. I'm not saying I was perfect. I would, I'm far from perfect. I'm far from, um, you know, certain things, but I did a lot. I gave a lot. And I don't care what he says or anyone. I feel like. He, he broke me the most. And I'm saying that because I probably like use with Philip. I feel like it was heavier with him because you know what I went through with Philip. You've seen what I went through with friends. You've seen that and you will still say you have such a pure heart. And these people are people are wrong for breaking your heart. But at the same time, you turn around and do the same exact thing. You're no different. Jazz Mundo, maybe because maybe let me just say this. Check this out, y'all. Maybe Chris did tell her that you have a pure heart and blah, blah, blah. But then he he saw the real you. He saw, he's like, dang, now I know why Philip did that. Now I, now I understand why Philip, that's probably why. You probably did something, you know what I mean? She probably did something in the relationship, just like when he told her to stop telling their business. He said many times, this channel's going to change from how you guys know stuff about our life. And she kept telling her life. She kept telling his business. She kept telling stuff. And he didn't like that shit. He didn't like it. And he kept trying to give you chances and telling you to stop, to change, change the way your channel's going. Go get a job. Go, go do something else. And you're like, this is a job. Friend, that makes you, you 10 like times worse. I was sleeping with the motherfucking enemy from the get go. I don't know. I'm just in my feelings and thinking about shit. And I'm just. <sighs> you know what I went through with Philip. You've seen what I went through with friends. You've seen that. And you would still say you have such a pure heart. And these people are yeah. people are wrong for breaking I your know. heart. But at the same time, you tell You messed around on your friends because of Chris. He was a reason why you got into a fight with your mom, your friends. It was because of him. Do the same exact Play thing. You're no way. different. That makes you 10 times worse. I was sleeping with the motherfucking enemy from the get go. I don't know. I'm just in my feelings and thinking. She said, nah, Eric, I disagree. That man showed her who he was from the jump. Absent father, unemployed. Didn't want another baby. So he was up front, but she refused to see it. And we did tell her that. But what I'm saying is she she said Chris told her, I saw how Philip treated you and whatever. But no, maybe later on he he realized like, damn, that's probably why Philip did that. Because she she just she she doesn't respect anyone's boundaries. She doesn't respect anyone's privacy. But Chris definitely did show his ass from the beginning. Shit, from the first Q&A they did, we already seen what type of dude Chris was. We've already saw what kind of man he was from the first Q&A he did. Because I remember we reacted to it. And I said, oh, this guy, he, he doesn't even want to be with her. He's like, five years later, we'll have a kid. Five years later, I'll get married with you. Five years later, we'll just do that way, way down the line. But she didn't want to get it. She was like head over heels over this dude and it's like girl we're telling you like many people many people on youtube told her what type of duty was but she didn't want to listen she said we were haters we were jealous 
she said all that bull crap. We're obsessed. We're jealous. We're haters. About shit, and I'm just. <sighs> We have just trying to pull myself team. together, y'all. Yeah. Like, I'm really having a rough morning. And, you know, I don't want to be called. I was like, I can be called a bitter baby mama. I can be called all this shit. I really have so much resentment right now that you're right. Y'all can say you're whatever. Right. Whoever he get with, I don't want them around him. I don't feel like I, I'm not nowhere near comfortable to where I'm not comfortable with everything right now. I'm not even comfortable with even letting him right. see legend, but I still do. But I'm just not. Hold up. She said, I'm not comfortable with him seeing legend, but I still do let him. He probably sees him through face FaceTime, girl. I highly doubt he's in person around you. I don't believe Chris has been around you. And I know I got some messages. Oh, we saw Chris's leg or whatever. I don't, what video was that? Because I got I, I got to see it. But I don't, I just don't feel he's been around her in person. I feel everything's been through the phone. I just don't feel he's been, he stopped by. I don't, I just don't feel he has. I could be wrong. He probably has came by, but I just don't feel he has. I don't know why. She don't have to worry about legend being around anyone because Chris, yeah, Chris is never going to take him off your hands, girl. He didn't take him off your hands when you guys were together. What makes you think he's going to be around? Girl, you're stupid. Let me rewind a little bit. They're near comfortable to where I'm not comfortable with everything right now. I'm not even comfortable with even letting him see legend, but I still do. <laughs> But I'm just not comfortable with certain things because it's like a trigger to me. You know, it's a trigger. Even though, he, like I said, he still sees him or he still FaceTime him, whatever. Oh, see? But it's stuff like that, but it's still a trigger. Oh, that's a trigger. And I don't know. So wanna... he's been FaceTiming her. It's not in person. It's not in person, y'all. It's through. And I still don't believe he FaceTimes him. I think it was just at one time. Right? You think, do you guys think he always FaceTimes him or is it just one time, one or two times maybe? I don't think he always does it because remember he blocked her. Be so Ew. fucked up to be like, oh, I'm just going to block you and not let you see him and just be, you can only see him on my social media. I'm not going to be like that. No, you don't care. Because that's not fair to him. I have to put like my pride aside and think about him because sometimes I just... I don't know y'all. Yeah, they are probably like girl. It's been months. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying that to myself, bitch. It's been months. It's been a minute. Like, get your shit together. She's doing this for views, y'all. Let's let's call it what it is. She's doing this for fucking views, for fucking drama. Just like she tried to throw Hannah in the bus. This is for drama, y'all. This is for views and drama. Just like Olivia over there trying to start up drama with with um. Antonisha, this is just to stir up drama and sympathy and cash apps. Yeah, there you go. And I'm trying oh, so hard, bro. Like, that's why with no tears. I never. Yeah, he said I never because I went through a heartbreak oh, already. But oh. I didn't think I was gonna have to go through the end to where I have to feel these feelings again. I have to go through the same pain again. You know, well, you, you know, you trying to get morning. every morning, every day, and take care of your kids, have a smile on your face. Trying to go to the gym. See this, this her crying and stuff. She is crying tears. So I know she is hurt by Chris, but her saying this on the internet like this, it's, it's. I just think it's for views, y'all. It's for views to get people talking and that's it. Chris has moved on. He's not going to come see you. The only thing you're ever going to probably get is just a FaceTime. And that's it. I'm sitting at the gym in the parking lot right now. You know, because I want to sitting work at out. The gym, Chris. It's just like my day just started off so bad. It's like I don't want to be selfish and make everything about me because in reality it's about me and him co-parenting for him, right? 
There's but no I feel like right now, like, oh, Lord. some I, I can honestly say, yeah, like, yeah, like yeah, damn, yeah, nigga, you really yeah. fucked me up. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, no. And I don't want to fucking see you. I don't want to hear you. I don't want to do nothing with you. Oh, Jasmundo, what has he done? Did he buy did he buy Legend those shoes and haircut? Now I really don't think he bought that because he's only FaceTiming her, y'all. This would be a good thumbnail. <laughs> but then a part of it's like that's not Stop being delusional. You know you fucking love him. You know you care about him. But that's some brushed teeth since 1908. I feel like today my crown is a little tilted. Y'all see it? It's, it's tilting. Sandra, right? Like I don't like we've to talk about my situation. With him we've all been heartbroken at one time or another. Something has gone through our life where we feel this way. But I'm not going to stop and put the camera on my face and let everyone know my business. Like, she, ugh, that's a trip. Uh, it's on here because it can sometimes make shit more complicated. And I just don't even want to go there. But like right now, I'm just, I just feel so, I feel heartbroken. And I just feel like I'm just not complete right now. And I'm trying so hard, bro. I just need to fix my skin. Yes, Christina, we've all been done wrong by him in some way. Mommy, yes. mommy, I did. Mommy, it's be okay. Bobby. And as a woman, I don't like to see other For women them, go sisters. through that. But we try okay, to tell Bobby. her. We try to tell her many times, but what did I get? A strike. I got called all these names. And we try to tell you, look at how he looks at you, girl. He doesn't respect you. She didn't want to hear it. Even Olivia tried to tell her. Chrissy tried to tell her. Ming tried to tell her. Her mom tried to tell her. Her dad tried to tell her. It's yeah. Ava. It's Ava cut her Barbie hair. Cut her mama in front of everybody. You're gonna get through this, Jazz. You gonna get through this. You gonna get through this. You a strong motherfucker. You got through so much. You didn't got through everything. You're still going through stuff, and you're still pushing through. But you're gonna get through this. You're gonna get through it. I know I am. You gonna talk about it? Whoa, I just have to stay strong, strong. Come on, strong foundation. Come on. Ooh, what the heck is that? Hello. Yeah, I don't know how bad. It's hard for me. <laughs> and some of y'all, like, not everybody built the same. Like, y'all know, like, when y'all, Jasmine, you got a pure heart. Not everybody built the same. Jasmine, It takes a while for me to get. If you have a pure heart, then why would you, why would you throw Aiden in the room and lock the door on him? all day till he fell asleep. I wouldn't be able to do that to my child just because I want to go live or something. I wouldn't be able to. I, I would have got them straight first, then handle my business next. You just used to throw the twins in the room and lock the door on them. So pure heart, where? Where's that pure heart at when you throwing the kids in the fucking room? Where's your pure heart at when you're on your video and Ava's in the back can't breathe? Where's that fucking pure heart at? Because I don't see it going to towards the babies at all. Where it should go first. F a dude. Get pure hatred. You know. To where I won't double back. And so that's yeah, I saw right now I'm just it's just one of them days like that I just wish that my heart wasn't so pure anymore you know Horny it makes heart. me feel like <laughs> there is no such thing as real love there's no such thing as none of that shit like all of that shit to make believe oh. and I don't even want to go out and look for it I don't want to I feel like nowadays like Cause I'm so old now. I'm not even that one, 32, but I feel like men don't value love 
And I, you know, I said that I don't want my son to grow up to be like like that. I want him to be, I want him to value his family. When things get rocky hard, you don't just up and leave. And don't just say, oh, I gave it a try. I tried to fix it by just throwing hints here. Jasmine, remember what he told you about his father? His father left him at a young age and he hated his dad for that. Remember, he's like, I hate my dad because he left my mom. Chris is just like his dad. He does the same thing. Like he's there crying. Oh, my dad left me. You leave your kids too. And you leave your girls. You we, Remember we kept telling them. I can go to an old ass video that I did. And we were telling her, girl, he's going to leave you pretty soon. He's going to do what he got to do. And then he's going to fucking leave. And that's exactly what he did. He left. He found another girl. He found someone else and he's now he's over there with that girl. Yeah, what family? He didn't even, and then he didn't even introduce her to his family. That's how much she did. That right there would have told me everything I needed to know. If I can't meet your family, that's telling me something. You've never met his family. You never went to a family barbecue, a family get together, a holiday, Christmas anything nothing with you and his family they they have they he has a big family you were never at their house ever but he was but you weren't not even dairy was there and there that's not fixing shit <laughs> i'm gonna teach my son Whenever things get hard, you don't leave your family. You stand strong and be that man. Oh, I'm teaching both my boys that. You stand strong and be that man. You take care. I'm going to teach my son, but you can't even potty train. Teach Girl, stop. Stop the cat. She said, I'm going to teach him. Teach him how to potty train first. Then I'll believe you. And your family. You may be mad at your wife, your girlfriend, whoever, your baby mom. I don't care. You stand strong and you be that man because at the same time you might be going through it. Just know she going through it too, but she's sticking beside you. You need to stick beside. And her. it's sad because she does have two sons and both fathers. She could teach them both not to leave their family, but no, she. It's all about dairy and because it's Chris. But no, you could teach Aiden too. Why don't you teach him too? He's always left out. See, that's what I'm talking about. Her and be that strong individual for her. I, I'm a firm believer. I stand on that, bro. I stand on that heavy. I stand on that. I'm just having a difficult time today, y'all. I'm sorry. Jasmine Doe. It's simple. He don't like you. He don't call you. He don't like you. He don't keep his word. He don't like you. He's inconsistent. He has someone else. He only calls you when he wants something. He's using you. He starts random arguments. He's cheating on you. He's not investing in you. You're not worth the investment. Never met his family. You're not the one. Been with your guy five plus years. No ring. No marriage. He's still searching. You're a placeholder. Men are not complicated. They're very easy to know. Men don't talk with their words. They talk with their actions. Let's go, that Nation. Be smart, they smart. Choose wisely. And remember, I told you. Facts. I don't even want to. But I have to. Yeah, about to go. I have to. I ran away from heartbreak. <laughs> my booty. Got nothing in return for my pain. I never thought I'd be so empty, so alone and afraid. Wasn't looking for a lover. Nobody understood where I've been. I guess I thought I needed more time to protect my love from potential offense. So I in you and you, but I. 
told you at night I'm not surprised by what I found Cause I know I needed something different And it had to be you out of the blue Somebody who listened and it had to be you Out of all the people to reply My love couldn't be just anyone my baby, it had to be you I didn't seem to notice That you were checking for me We were just friends But we started building trust And my fragile heart started to win Yeah I should have paid attention You would have been the obvious choice But I needed time to see clearly Dig deep and cut through the noise So I Then you And you sleep in the car but i have to go to the food stamp office i'm so irritated because they had a system error i feel like i'm getting a whole bunch of run around at this point um i didn't get them this month and i'm a little irritated like i'm already having a bad day and i feel like this just added to it but she was like i talked to a lady yesterday on the phone for two hours she spoke with her supervisor everything and then all of a sudden she said the wait in my office has to be on my car a couple hours. Didn't get it. So I called up there. One, I need my food. Y'all know what happened already with my groceries and stuff. So I'm already slim to nothing. Okay. I'm just, I'm trying to make it, but um, I'm just a little irritated about that. Like that just really frustrated me. Maybe you forgot to turn something in or they needed some type of maybe, maybe. Well, no, I don't think she had. Cause you know, every six months, I think you have to like, set, you have to like send them something. Like, is everything still the same? Information still the same? Maybe she just di didn't turn something in. Cause why else would she not get her food stamps? She probably was supposed to turn something in, and she did not do it. So, I'm about to go up there. Okay. It's just easier when you go up there because the they have caseworkers already there that handle stuff like that. So I'm going to go there right, and right, see please. if somebody can help me because this sucks. Like, I did not get them this month. So for the pantry. see if they can move something along, move stuff along quicker or even give me some emergency stamps or something. I don't think they All right, you guys. So I got anymore. that basically situated. Um, it was just, Lord Jesus, it just hasn't. It just today hasn't been my day. I just feel like I'm just going through a lot today. So um, I actually got to come. To the, to the, to the yeah, no, Where am I at? H-E-B and grab some bread for, um, what is it called? 
sandwich. I'm cooking sandwich and fries tonight. So I'm going to grab some bread and then... Yeah, I think that's all. I'm so tired. Like, I'm all over the place. Then I got to go back home. What time is it? Oh, shit. Aiden has therapy today. And then Cameron has basketball practice. So got a lot I have to do today. You got to keep pushing even when you don't want to. When you're having one of those days. And, baby, I'm telling you, I'm having one of those days. Well, you got to like, change that energy, girl. All right. So Aiden just finished doing therapy. Um, I'm about to make their plates. Um, oh, yeah. I wanted to show you all this. I got the this... Oh, that smells good. Watermelon shea. That smells good. Sugar scrub. I got this. I wanted to try it out, but I've had the coke, not cocoa. What is it called? Coffee of the tree hut. And it smells so good. But um, Aiden, you want to show me your picture? I still don't believe you take a shower. Nothing. He made this during therapy. What is it? It's a bunny. It's a bunny? Aww. Oh, wow. That's a cute bunny. How you get body scrub if you have, <laughs> right? If you have to go to the food snap office for, for food. See, that's where I tell you guys. That's where I say um, she rather spend her money on what she can buy and then she'll buy food with her stamps type of shit. You know what I mean? Probably that. But doesn't she still have, I, she still should have some tax money. Remember she said she's saving money. So she should have emergency money saved up where she, if she has low, low food, you can go buy some groceries with cash. Till you get your emergency food stamps or whatnot. That's really nice. Thank uh, you, Aiden. Those are the bunny ears. Okay, mommy's about to make y'all's plates, okay? I know, I know. I didn't see it. I know. I know. Ooh. Did I see it? Did I see it? Did I see I was just trying to make it like this when they started like buns like that. You're right. The tree hut scrubs are seven, eight dollars. She's not saving shit, Erica. Didn't we see her bills yesterday? She has to pay back for borrowing money from Cash App. So clearly she didn't save. Yeah. If you're borrowing from the Cash App and you have to pay them back every month, that means that you're not making enough money, girlfriend. Got You got to get a side hustle, something, something. What happened? No, no more flowers, no more Starbucks. Oh, wee. She got the size. I know, I know. She got the size. Self-control is never being changed. Don't think it'll help. There's a ring with a lot. Where I'm from, it's so the things. You come from a city where they seem with a lot. How the fuck you keep so many seeds? Oh man, I hope I don't get in trouble for this song. I don't know what song that is, but it sounds like Drake. All right, so I changed some slides and I just changed shirts because when I was cooking, I got food on my shirt, so just changed shirts. But we're about to head. Up. She thinks of those songs that she uses. Some of them you're getting in trouble for them. Oh look, Jasmine got a big old booty, you guys. <clears throat> I'm just playing. Oh, she's wearing, well, she's wearing uh, sand flip-flops, right? Is that Philip next to her? <laughs> Who's 
filming? Who's holding the camera, y'all? If you can coach Jasmine, you can get a job. She could have got a job being a coach at the school, right? Who's holding the camera, y'all? Maya? Who is Maya? I'm on the mezzanine, I go so hard just to fuck up my enemies. Don't even business. I'm just too weird with this. Came with the bass and I'm slapping you niggas. I feel like I'm willing this. Jasmine's such an inspiration for the team, you guys. She's doing so much coaching for the team. Oh, lordy. I will say um, I'm glad she's she is you know helping. Girl, she is barefooted. Oh lord, look at how. Oh my god. You can get sick like that. It is 11:14. I took me a bubble bath. My kids came home, um, took them quick showers, and got in the bed. They had dinner before we left. Um, they could not wait, okay? And I left it out just in case someone wanted some more, but no one wanted any more food. Yeah, I don't so, think they um, like I'll that. probably either get that rest of it. It's like a, maybe enough for like either two. It depends. Um, but I might put it in, I don't know, because I don't feel like, because the bread can get soggy if I put it in their lunch. So I don't think I'm sending it with them tomorrow. I might just give it to Legend for lunch tomorrow. But um, y'all... I feel like I had a roller coaster over the day, and I'm not gonna lie, like it was just all over the place. Y'all got my emotions, all, all of them, okay? Y'all got all my emotions as far as what I went through today. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I did end it feeling a lot better with the kids. And on the way home, we was just <laughs> vibing and listening to music, and it really put me, it uplift my spirit. I'm over here spitting. Just vibing with the girls. We drove, like, I just drove around and we just kept listening to music. And then on top of that, um, just coaching Kaylin's game, Kaylin's team, helping that really put me in an uplifting spirit too. But um, I might as well pick up the kitchen. Like I said, it's 11 15. It's 11 15. So I'm about to go clean up the kitchen and then I'm going to call it a night. So I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, thumbs up and subscribe. And I will see. So what did y'all think about her video? Where are we at? Okay. What y'all think? This was six months ago when Chris Red broke up with her, y'all. Six months ago. It's just been a lot going on, y'all. A lot. Trying to, you know how you just try to stay positive and you feel like people just be wanting to just bring you down? That's kind of what I feel like right now. And it just makes me just want to keep my circle so small to like nothing. Like I don't even care what, um, or how anybody feels. And I'm like, I probably, what are you talking about? But I'm just like, this is kind of why I stay to myself. Even people, I mean, you ain't got to be friends with certain people, but. You're talking about Hannah or. Chris or his sister, I don't know. It's a lot of people that will sit back and watch you and wanted to watch and see you fall. They want to see the downfall. That's how I be feeling. No tear attacks, right? Tiara, if you don't hear, I don't know if you don't hear. I'm going to respond back to your message.
uh, hey Jazz, how are you doing? Can I see a maintenance or a self care vlog from you? So I was planning on doing something like that today, but my whole vibe just got thrown off today. And like I'm a, mm, should I even speak on it? I don't even know if I'm gonna speak on y'all, especially that stuff. But just my vibe is just thrown. I wonder what like, talking you know, about. You, know, you do certain things and people just, oh, I just be thinking like, how much can I? Mm. Just smoking. I don't Enjoy your weekend. Don't stress. Stay positive. Hey, Pri. Yeah, she's she was she was bigger right there, huh? Love you, and I'm praying for you. Thank you for your later. prayers. I got you, Jazz. People can be wicked. Thank you, love. Thank you. You know, I just feel like mm -hmm. I try to stay positive. I try to be cordial with everybody, and it's just like a lot of people want to see you fail in life, like for real. And when you up, they don't got nothing to say. But when you down, they got something to say. They bring everything that you're going through in life and try to use that against you. And it's just like, you know what? It's cool. Stop letting others, but still your peace. I agree. But that's where it comes in my fault. Like, I can take accountability for, you know, just letting people, certain people into my circle, into my environment. And they so just dim that little right that I have. You know what I'm saying? So that's my fault. <clears throat> she has been doing better since he's left. She, it's a, I think it's a blessing. I like that saying. I got some bush watchers. Cut them off, girl. It's worth it. I think it's a, a blessing that he left because him being there, her mind was more focused on pleasing him, doing for him. I mean, she still doesn't really do for her kids still now, but at least she does a little bit more than she did when she was with Chris. With Chris, she was all head over heels over him. And now, you know, now that he's gone, she don't have to focus on just him all the time, like giving him money and whatever she was doing with that dude. She was really puffy down. <laughs> Not puffy. <laughs> I do. I mean, they be bush watchers. Is that what you call them? Bush watchers? And just they be praying on your downfall. Like, that's how I feel today. After finding out what I found out. After finding out what I found out. Damn, man. Why are you going to talk like in subliminals? What day was get to you. I'm not really letting nobody get to me. I just, I just, it kind of just was an eye opener. With certain things. September 16th. Yeah, it's just like. When, when is Kaylin's birthday? This was September 16th. So her birthday had just passed. And remember, she said she got into it with Chris because he didn't buy her nothing for her birthday. But she said that she got into it with someone. You think it was Hannah? Because remember, they got into it like before her, her um, Kayla's birthday or whatever. I don't know. She would be talking about a lot of people right here. She never like says what it is. She just... oh. Oh, people don't understand the stuff that they say and how it can hurt other people just because they want to make I, I don't even know i'm not even gonna say that because that's not the case but it is what it is people want to see you fail people want to see you fail. To myself. who want to see you fail right linda is tiara in here she said hey to your so somebody else hey julissa Oh, girl, I thought you meant like they bush watchers. Okay, I get what you're saying. She's about some green. Let you let people miss you. Girl. Girl. She was big right there, huh? This was six months ago. Six months ago. Let me see. He's scared. This is the biggest thing that he's afraid of. A for child support. I already told him I'm going to bleed him dry. I all y'all think that the night that y'all want to talk about it, the night that I went live, I went live for y'all. Remember that? <laughs> the night that I went live. What started that live? And it was muted. People kept calling police to my house. 
they thought that I was getting beat up. No. He was starting to call the police on me. I was trying to get me locked up. Because I was just like, nigga, I, I did hit him. I'm not going to lie. You hit him? I was like, nigga, you, like, you're not shit. Like, you're just breaking my heart. He think that he could just come in and out this motherfucking house and treat me like shit. Like, mixed signals. Said, I probably so know. much, bro. <laughs> like I said, December. So, bitch, if you're watching, the nigga lied to you. Nigga, we ain't been broken up for months. Nigga, we've been arguing for months since my birthday because I finally spoke up. I wanted birthday. some more. I wanted more. I felt like, damn, bitch, you do a lot. You deserve more. You deserve to be treated like a queen. Who gives a fuck? This nigga knew what I did the day that he met me. He knew I was a content creator. So if I did decide to put pictures of fucking flowers, or who gives a fuck? Yeah. See that video with Lala we just saw? That was after her birthday. <sighs> bro, this nigga really, this nigga ain't shit, bro. Let's talk about bones. Out. That's how I know. Y'all think I'm dumb? Y'all really think I'm a dumb bitch? He gonna lie to this day. I threw a bone. Y'all remember that picture I took on Instagram? I took that picture pur purposely. And he knows. We argued about that that night. That was probably he took my phone. Um, that was I took probably a picture right here. Too. I made sure to show his fucking game system. Just to throw a bone. Because I ain't a dumb bitch, nigga. I want to see. Because you don't have social media. The first thing he kept saying was, someone's keep coming to my DMs telling me this. Tell me that. You said my name. You said that. Legend's dad. Bitch, you are Legend's dad. You are his dad. Oh, nigga. Christopher Allen Bowser. You are Legendary King, Legendary, uh, King Bowser's dad. You are his dad. You are around the motherfucker. Whatever you want to be. I have to beg you to stay in. And because you like, oh, I got stuff I gotta do, nigga. You have what was it? Mommy. Mommy. <laughs> 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 oh, that's the part I like right there, mommy. <laughs> right now, his game isn't right there because when I did that, y'all think I'm done? I peep everything. Yeah, that too. He said, you know, I'm gonna let it slide. I'm gonna let it slide. He's down about something else at work, and I was just like, why would you let something slide at work and get mad at me? He put it in the closet. <laughs> flag, jazz, flag. The nigga is fucking with somebody that follows you. Whoever it is, whoever it is, I'm gonna say that they follow you. But I got my confirmation today on who it is and what they got going on. I got my confirmation. How? <laughs> and he kept avoiding me today. I called his job. You talk. You talk about. I'm gonna stay at my cousin's house because I gotta be at work early. What is it? Oh, I gotta be at work early in the morning. And it's just so he was using that excuse. I'm gonna stay at my cousin's house because I gotta go to work early. But in reality, he's been staying at this girl's house, right? So I wonder who told her the confirmation she got. You know, she's like, I got confirmation. And then on that live we just watched, she's like, after what I found out today. So I don't know. This girl, she's, she's speaking codes. I want to know, did someone ask, ask her, did she really pay for that truck in this video? I don't know. It's, it's just more convenient to stay out here. I think you did, though. I called his job. You think I'm done? You don't think I'm a call? And, and ask? Oh, Christopher Bowser is not on schedule for today. Oh, and then when he finally called me, what did he say? Oh, I, I called in. But you told me last night at 8 o'clock when I was live. Actually, around the time I was live, you texted me and said, um, I'm going to just tell you because I got to go early in the morning. So when did you call in? Oh, I called in yesterday. I called in. I, which day was it? You're just a liar. I got more messages, Chris. More messages. What? I'm almost right here. Come get your cup, bubbles. Here, you want this? Want some milk? Hmm. No? Okay. What do you want? What is it? What do you want? Well, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna, I got more messages. It's more messages. You know, Chris, you, you, you can't hide from this. What you gonna do? Just never see your son again? I don't give a fuck. It'll be the first thing I've ever dealt with, a person that just ran away from the kid. And I said this, too. Oh, I feel like cut me in time, girl. I Here we are. Our rent is due. <laughs> Our rent's due. Where are you? You blocked me. I've been blocked all day since early this morning, or whatever time it was. He sent that last message. Not baby outrage. Why <laughs> <laughs> string me along for so long, girl? We told you you didn't want to listen to us. We done told you. I've already said he's a narcissist. I just wanted better in, a, in everything. I don't give a fuck. The moment that I said that, you fell out of love with me. I'm just not happy. That's how I kept getting to, to the with you. What you need, baby? Help you with what? Go get your chair. Go get your chair. Does she still have that video where he's like planning a wedding? What do you need? What do you need? What do you need? What do you need? What do you want me to hug? 
It's sad. The only way you're gonna ever see your son is on a live stream or on YouTube. On Facetime. He asked for you. You know, it's sad. He. Remember who remembers? Remember when Chris went live and they kept in the comments. Oh, they kept saying, they kept saying. Is it true Jasmine's pregnant? He's all, hey, I'm not here to talk about that shit right now. And I was like, damn. Remember, who remembers that live he did? And the comments were like, how many months is Jasmine? Is she pregnant? He's all, I ain't here to talk about that shit right now. I was like, damn. You didn't notice that, Jasmine, though? Mm -hmm. She didn't want to talk about you. Like, I feel so dumb. I feel dumb. I love my baby to death, but, bro, I feel dumb. Yeah. I love this person so much, bro. Oh, like, I would do anything part. for him. I feel dumb. <laughs> I feel dumb. Daddy. Need a minute. I'm going to eat. Oh, it's great. I can honestly say broke me. He's broke me. I told him that, too. He knows. Oh, you don't even know what broke me. He got on that post I shared. I sent him a long message. And he said exactly what that post said. It says... It's just narcissist. I'm sorry for what you're going through. Respect. I'm sorry for what I put you through. He said exactly the same thing. And I sent it to him. I sent it, I said, I sent it to him. And I, said, I said, like, that's really how you are? Like, you showing me who you are? He said, I'm going to show my true colors. Here. If I go live on YouTube, I'll be showing my true colors. I'll be showing my true colors. And I'm a fake bitch. I'm a fake ass person. And I'm nothing like, I'm just like these little baby mamas. I brought them up several times. I said, is this how you did them? Like, but from what I hear, like as of today, um, okay. from the start, this nigga's been lying to me. Oh my God, for real? What? I didn't know that. And I didn't, I, because I love him so much, I put him first. I didn't want to believe nobody else, not your sister, whenever it was kind of brought to me in a certain type of way. But you've been lying since the beginning. Yeah. I think she did do this with, with Philip too. It's like Lydia was just like. When Philip broke up with her at, when he was in jail, he broke up with her. She did a whole series about it. First, she went live. Then she talked about it in a video. Then she talked about it in another video. How he broke up with her because she said she was she got fat or something like that. I don't know. It was it was weird. I don't want to say a mistake, but that's how I feel like he sees it. Like he was, legend was a bump in the road. Like damn, I can't treat her like I did everybody. Y'all want to watch that one? Let me see if I can find it. Is it this one? Hey, y'all. Uh, I don't know. April 11th. Literally. This was April 11th. <laughs> this was this was April 11th. This is April 12th, y'all. I cannot. I just can't. Like, <laughs> it's hard to be extremely happy when you struggle with depression because you'll be good one minute. Like that was me. I was, yeah, girl, come on, yes, Eddie was gonna do this. Got, and then the next girl. minute, I'm just like bawling out in tears. And it has a lot to do with Philip not being here. It's, the twins is about to be one years old. And I can't, I can't seem to get on a perfect schedule. Everything. I'm trying so hard to go. But today, like today, today was bad. Today's bad. I could not get up. Yeah, like I slept on the, the couch. Pattern. I could not get off the couch this morning. I don't still here. I got up and I, I fed everybody. Like it was bad. It was really bad. I couldn't. I couldn't even take Kaylin to school. Bad. Oh God. I didn't, want, I didn't want to get off the couch. I just felt like I just didn't want to, at that moment this morning, I did not want it to be here. I just wanted to just, I feel like when I sleep, you know, you dream about something that you wish you had. 
And that was me this morning. Oh my God, I know. I don't even want to put the video on. I just feel like I need to talk. Because he's not awake. Tear him off back yet. I just. Wow. You know, last night I was like, okay, Jeff, let me go. You hit 25K. You're going to get up. You're going to edit. I had the motivation in my head. And then my body was like, nah. Like, I haven't even. I did film a mukbang on my channel. I was good. I'm not even going to lie. There's no hiding that. I felt good. Oh, and I was like, you know, I started my channel. I feel real good. I filmed a mukbang. I was good. That was the only time I ate in two days. <laughs> did you hear that? And then she said she didn't eat for two days. She hasn't ate for two days, y'all. She only ate when she did a mukbang. And all of a sudden, I just started crashing. You know, I'm cleaning up. Everything's going to my mom. Just clean up the living room and stuff. Take care of the babies. Getting them together. This was four years ago. Four and years And I'm ago. just crashing. You know, I'm talking to Chrissy and, you know, she's filming her video. And I'm just like, girl, you got this. I'm like, Chrissy and Sierra, y'all are not going to, I'm not going to like, y'all motivating me to keep going. Now I'm having a hard time with this because, you know, with Philip's situation, it's like, this was April 28th, 2019. On the date of the video, she, when she did this was April 11th. I don't care what anybody says. This man's been in my life for 15 plus years. This is like her Veda content. Now she's doing it with Chris. Now it's Chris. This was Philip. I felt, and I was just going through my head too. And I was like, did I waste? I waste my most of my life with him. I have four kids. I love my kids. I don't regret this. But I could have been somewhere else. I could have been in school. I could have been doing something I like to. I wasted so much of my life. And it's driving me crazy. Yeah, I'm trying so hard to keep this shit together. Oh, my battery's dying. Hold on. I seem to just can't find the right happiness. It's so much, y'all. I'm stressed out about my weight. I'm stressed out about everything. 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 And like, I try to get on track whenever with my weight loss. I try. I'm trying so hard to get on track with this. Then I keep falling and off. If it's not a breakup story, it's something with drama. Oh, something's going on outside. I can see. I wonder what it is. It's like over there. There's always police over here. I noticed that. Over there. I'm trying, y'all. I'm really trying my best to get on track with my life. I thought moving was going to be a good start to help me, but it's deeper than that. It's way deeper. It's deeper than having a relationship with a man. It's deeper than all of that. Oh, God. I have really bad postpartum depression. It's, it's way so deeper. deeper. And guys. what's hurting me is that I hate taking the medication. The medication makes me sick to my stomach. It makes me really tired. And hold on. I got to look at the twins. Hold on. I'm not going to lie. I miss this man to death. I miss everything. I miss before we had the twins. We were doing better. We were doing way better. Um, way deeper. I'm not saying twins is the reason. I mean, yeah, I've never really been this depressed. Like, I've been depressed after I had the other kids, but I feel like it really hit me after I had the twins. It's just, it got really overwhelming. And they're probably going to say, she's stupid. Why would you miss somebody that really wasn't there? Like I said, this man was all I knew for years. Years. And I think this is the hardest thing I think I ever had to do, like getting over somebody. Oh my God. I put so much energy into our relationship. I just feel like it's just wow. We gotta put it together. It's so hard to keep Mix everything together, up, hurt, and then just not know what up. to expect. I gotta like, mix them together. I don't know what to expect from him. Well, I don't know what he wants to. I don't know what. I don't know what he expects of me. I don't know what. I just don't want to be with anybody either. It's just so much, y'all. How can I be with somebody if I'm one? But how can I move on if I'm still focused? My energy is still on one person. Ah, this was My heart is still ago. here. I'm still here. I'm so stressed out. I'm still. I'm depressed. I'm not even emotionally here. I don't have any energy for anybody else. I have just enough amount of energy for my kids. Life. I don't have any energy for anyone else. How could I? How could I have any energy? <laughs> I hate it. Why did it have to be me? Why did I have You're to be right, go through all right. of this? Like why? All I wanted was a big family, a nice wedding, a man that just loves me inside and out no matter what. That's all I wanted. Yeah. I wanted to be happy. I didn't want to go through this shit. Yeah, I knew it was going to be hard because, you know, we do have kids and everything. But <clears throat> I know a lot of y'all probably like, judge me really strong. Y'all get it. It's only so far being strong can take you. 
And that's for me. Like, I can only go so far. True that. I'll break down. I'm, just, I'm human just like y'all. I will break down out of nowhere. And I know a lot of you are going to email me. And I'm, if I don't email back, just know that I read it. I, like I said, everything is taking all, all of my energy. I read y'all's emails. I try to read at nighttime or messages. It's just a lot. I read them. And sometimes I just don't write back. And I feel bad. I feel like that's another thing that's overwhelming me, too. And y'all probably going to say, what kind of YouTuber don't write? I mean, there's a lot of them, but I, I know I'm not that big, but 200 plus email. Like, not, well, all of it together is like over 200. Yeah. And I try so hard to get back to y'all because I don't want to be that person that just don't get back to y'all. Like that, Everything's overwhelming. I try to just stay connected. I hate that the comments were disabled. The kids, oh my God, they didn't they look fighting. That's what I'm going through. And then you have to worry about therapy. It's a lot. And I feel like Amaya's soccer, that's a lot. I'm trying to get through that. Hold on. Take her to practice. I feel like I'm just always going. There's not enough time in the day for me to get to. Like lately, I want to work out. I want to do that. Like, I have channel. no energy. There's no time. The twin, the twins are older, and I went to the gym for the first time with the twins. Now it, it was hard. It was hard because they're not little babies, so where they can just sit in the car seats and just relax and watch mommy work out. Now they want to get out and crawl. They cannot crawl in the weight room because they touch everything. Something can fall on them. Oh, I have a big ass migraine. Yeah, I'm about to dip. Yes, I didn't even eat. Luno, you're funny. Stop. Stop. Crying about Chris. You cried about Philip. Cried about Chrissy. You cried about, I don't know what else, but girl. This is how, y'all, this is how Jasmine makes her money, y'all. This, this, doing this right there, that's how she makes her views and her money, y'all. Yeah, that's how she does it, y'all. She, she, that's how her and Olivia do it. They, they do this type of stuff to get their views. They get drama in their channel, and you know what I mean. But anyways, y'all, I'm about to dip up out of here. I love you guys. Thank you guys for hanging out with me this Friday. Have an awesome weekend, baby. And I will see you guys tomorrow. I'm looking for my love, y'all. Peace, baby. Exacto mundo, baby. Hello. What's up? Hey. I have a question first for Jazz. Mm -hmm. Don't you have four kids by a pimp? Oh, Lord. By a pimp? Oh Lord. Girl. Exacto, Exacto mundo, baby. baby.